everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be covering a long overdue topic and that is Google Analytics for Redbubble. So you might have noticed on your Redbubble dashboard you have a Google Analytics option on the left hand side menu and you might have wondered what exactly that is or what the point of having something like that set up for your Redbubble is. So in today's video I'll be showing you exactly how to set that up for your shop and why I think it's important for everyone else to set this up for their shops too. But before I get into this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with all of my latest Redbubble tips and give this video a thumbs up. So first I'm going to set up my own Google Analytics and show you guys exactly what you can do to set up yours too. Feel free to follow along while I'm setting mine up and set yours up at the same time so you can have it ready by the end of this video. I actually can't believe it's taken me this long to set up my own Google Analytics for my Redbubble because I know I should have set it up a while ago and I really regret not setting it up at least at the beginning of my YouTube channel but you live and you learn and I'm still gonna get lots of good data from now on. I just feel like I missed out on a lot of good insights for the last six or so months ever since I started YouTube and the traffic that's come from there. So, I mean, I can't go back and get that, but at least now I'll be getting it moving forward. And I think it's kind of the same principle for you guys because you never know when you're gonna see a spike in your Redbubble sales or one product really takes off. So you wanna be ready for that and just have these analytics set up before that happens so that when it happens, it can capture that data and then you can make more decisions for your Redbubble store and the type of designs you're putting out and all that based on your analytics. Okay, so I'm just gonna go into my computer screen and set up my Google Analytics for my Redbubble. So first I just go into Redbubble and as you can see on the left hand side, there is the Google Analytics menu option. So here it shows you what you can use Google Analytics for on a very high level overview. They can give you a frequently asked question to set up your Google Analytics option, but I just decided to go for it. So I went into my Google Analytics account and luckily I already had one because I used it for a website a long time ago, but if you just set one up, it takes like two seconds, just like any other type of account. So I was actually having trouble finding out where to go to create a new account at first. It was a little confusing because I had never really used this platform before, but I just did a quick Google search about how to add a new profile in your Google Analytics and the answer actually took me to a Google page right away and it was very clear what you had to do, so I just decided to follow those instructions. So the first step was to go to your admin settings. And then once you're there, you have to into your account section and create a new account. So here it walks you through exactly what you have to do. So as you can see, I just added Redbubble Web as the account name because that's the type of account I'll be creating. I actually created a Redbubble account right before this one, um, but I didn't show it on screen because it was the wrong type that Redbubble wanted. So you actually need to complete a web account. So I'll show you what that means in a second. So here is the web section. When it says, what do you want to measure? It gives you three different options and make sure you click the web one. So in the property details section, all you have to do is add all those details. So the website name is Redbubble, then add the website URL. And at first it might show up as invalid if you're just copying and pasting from Redbubble because it has the HTTPS section. So make sure you delete that and then it should be good. Then just select a category. So I just did other because I don't know, I wasn't sure if it was arts and entertainment really because it wasn't really entertainment, but yeah, I don't think it really matters. And then reporting time zone, I just left it as it was because when I tried to put the Canada one, there was an error for some reason. So maybe it's just a glitch, but I just left it. You guys can try to put your own time zone. I might try to change that in the future, but that's all I did. And then I clicked create. So luckily that one worked out this time and it takes you to the new page where it shows your account has been set up and right at the top you get your tracking ID and that is the exact number we need to import into Redbubble. So as you can see it has the UA at the beginning which is exactly what it showed in the Redbubble one. So when I actually created the other type of account which was the web plus app it didn't have the UA number so that's how I knew it was wrong. So I'm just importing that into Redbubble and save the changes. It was a little bit weird because nothing happens, like you don't get any confirmation once you add that web property ID into Redbubble. So I was a little unsure if it actually saved. So I just went to a new page and then back to the Google Analytics page and it was still there. So that was a success. And now it says it takes 24 hours about to show statistics. So we'll wait and see what happens in 24 hours. And then I'll go back into this and see what kind of data we get. 
I'm not sure if you can look at it within Redbubble's manager as well or if you have to go into Google Analytics to look at it. So we'll see and I'll definitely make another video about this. Okay, so that's all done. As you can see, it did not take too much time. I did speed up some parts, but overall it did not take more than 10 minutes. So you can do it quite easily. And I know it seems a bit intimidating at first, which is another reason why I didn't really want to do it for a long time. But if you just follow the steps and you know Google anything else you have to or watch this video, then you'll know exactly what to do and it won't be too confusing. So now that you know exactly what to do to get your Google Analytics set up properly and working, let's get into the reasons why I think you should be setting it up for yourself today. So these are in no particular order really, so they're all kind of equally important and valuable, so yeah, I'm just going to list them off. So the first reason is that you can actually set up tracking links. So if you don't know what this means, basically it's Anytime you post your Redbubble store link on a social media site, you can now track the traffic coming from that specific link that you posted. For example, I know a lot of you guys, including myself, post your Redbubble store on an Instagram for it or your personal Instagram. And what you can do is go into Google Analytics and set up a specific link that you can make just for that Instagram page. So once you post that link to your Instagram, it'll keep track of all the people that are coming through that specific link and all the data associated with it. So this is beneficial because you can see where most of your traffic is coming from and this can give you a heads up of where maybe you should focus more of your marketing efforts on. So if you see that most of your people are coming from Instagram versus Facebook, if you posted links to both of those sites, then you can just try to ramp up your Instagram page by posting more and being more active on it. So the second reason I think you should get Google Analytics for Redbubble is because you'll be able to see what page people are exiting on. So what this means is that they'll show you the exact page that people leave your shop on. So whether that's a product page or a checkout or your shop page overall, it'll tell you exactly when they left and when their last click was on your site. This is beneficial to have for multiple reasons because A, you can kind of see where people are straggling off and not making a purchase. So for example, if everyone's kind of exiting on the same exact product or design, that might tell you that something is you know, not ideal with that product or that design. So you might wanna make some tweaks. Maybe it doesn't fit the product properly or maybe the design isn't as enticing as some of your other designs. So it just kind of gives you a more in-depth analysis of where people are clicking off and then you can try to understand why. You can also see the amount of people that ended up exiting through checkout, which means it was a purchase. So that is your conversion rate. And I mean, that's a whole separate thing in itself, but that's just another benefit you have from seeing you know, where the exit point was. So my third and final reason for why you should get Google Analytics for Redbubble is that it allows you to see what keywords people are using to find your shop or your items. So basically there's a thing called Search Console in Google Analytics and this shows you the keywords that brought people to your site or in this case to your product. So this is a great way to find out what designs or what keywords are trending or what keywords people are searching for and therefore finding your product with. And let's say if there is a common keyword that brings people to your store, you can try to make more designs around that keyword because obviously there's not only one design per keyword. So for example, if you notice that dolphin is a keyword that brings people to your products, then you can try to create more dolphin centered artwork for your store because you might have only one or two, for example, and you could be losing out on people that want something for dolphin artwork, but don't like the two options that you have available. It also might give you some new ideas because if someone is looking for something similar to your artwork and somehow gets onto your artwork, then that means you can create something for that initial keyword search term as well. So those were all my points for this video. I wanted to kind of keep it short and sweet, but obviously there are a ton more reasons why you should get Google Analytics for Redbubble and I can definitely make a part two. I can also make a more in-depth video about how to use the Google Analytics for your Redbubble once I start getting some data on mine. So I don't know, I might give it like a month or so and see how much data I have and then kind of go into it, show you guys and show you exactly how I use it to benefit my store and just to get information out of. So I'm actually really looking forward to that because I love analytics, like even on YouTube, I love seeing my analytics and just kind of where things are going well and where things can improve. So I'll definitely keep that video on the back burner once I have enough data and let me know if you guys have Google Analytics set up and if you find it useful. But other than that, that's pretty much all I had for today. So give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new and subscribe to my channel for more weekly content from me. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.